Hi, I'm Kendra. I was a science student at BioBus last summer. Welcome to our seventh at home weekly challenge. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some cute little pitfall traps to put into your garden or your yard or any place that you have to find some bugs that live near you. Let's go. Step one, find materials that you already have at home, like things that can be recycled. First of all, you'll need a cup and a few pieces of sturdy cardboard or wood. I'm just using cardboard here. You'll also need a shovel or something to dig with, like this spoon and a pair of chopsticks. Step two, decide on where you want to look for bugs. If you have access to a garden or yard, that's perfect. First, dig a hole in your spot you want to put your cup in. Make sure that the cup's rim matches the top of the hole when you put it in, and patch up the sides so that there's no space between the soil and the cup. Next, place your cardboard pieces around the cup. These are going to help direct more insects in. Two should probably be enough. I recommend adding some water and soap into the cup to make sure that the bugs will leave before you get to check on them. Step three, sit back and wait. Check back on the cup in a few hours if you're really curious, like me. So this is what I found. What's cool about this challenge is that because we're all in different places right now, we can compare the bugs we found. Are they the same across New York City or are they different? I'm actually in Taiwan right now, so I may find really different bugs than you do. Step four, using the resources on the webpage for this challenge, identify the bugs that you found if you can and let us know what you found. Last but not least, some of my favorite bug facts. Typically when an insect runs into a wall, it'll follow the direction of it. That's why we use the cardboard pieces to guide them into the cup. If you find flowers nearby, you may be able to find more flying insects with the bright pan trap like this one instead. Thanks for joining me this week. I hope you learned a little bit more about the bugs that you share your environment with, and I hope that you did really have fun. Make sure that if you do try any part of this challenge, that you click the link below, and make sure to share with us, because we would love, love to see what you have found. Bye, y'all. See you next week.